What's up, family in Christ? So, today, and before I even start this word, right? Obviously, I'm coming with another word. If you ever see me here, I got a word. <laughs> Just know that. But um, I, what I do want to say is, the Lord is moving at a rapid rate. A very rapid rate. It's beautiful. But it's also an urgency that we got to take very, very seriously. And I'm saying all of this to say because, so, been getting words from the Lord. I've been doing the obedient stuff and putting them out as he tells me to put them out. And he's very clear when I need to put them out because he has me write them down. If they're for me, he'll make me put them into a for me folder. He's very strategic and very, uh, very precise with the direction that he gives me. But lately, every single day, I'm getting multiple, multiple, multiple downloads. And I'm telling you, it's very, very precise stuff. And it's touching on things that he needs us to prepare for as his remnant. So a lot of times when I do put these videos out, I am talking directly to a specific body of people. Those people are going to know who they are when they watch the videos. They're going to catch that. They're going to catch everything in the spirit because they're going to know right off the bat that Jerron is not the one giving all of this stuff out. He's getting this from a source. The source is the Holy Spirit. If you carry the Holy Spirit, if you are somebody who is a man or woman after God's own heart, you're going to be able to reflect the Holy, who the Holy Spirit is. You're going to be able to understand that the Holy Spirit is speaking, spirit, recognize spirit, etc., things of that nature, right? So God is really adamant about getting his remnant together. He's really, really adamant about it, and we really need to take heed to this stuff. I wanted to set that precedence before I hopped into this video. We really need to take heed to what God is speaking right now. He's obviously moving very fast for a reason, because something is about to come, and we don't want to miss it, right? We don't want to miss it, and we, or we don't want to step into whatever trap, whatever it is. It's something coming, it's something big coming, and it's going to be game-changing. It's going to be world-changing. So... Really take heed, really be serious and intentional about how you're seeking the Father right now, and pay attention to when he's speaking to you, okay? All right, so with that being said, I'm going to hop into this word. This word right here is going to be on direction. It's going to give you a little bit more clarity on how you know if God is increasing you or not, if he is trying to increase you or not, because nine times out of ten, your choice is going to either step into the increase or it's going to step into delay and it's going to leave you in the wilderness, spoiling the ground and, and, and things of that nature. So I'm going to hop right into the word. All right. Actually, let's pray real quick before I hop into the word. So, Father God, I thank you ahead for what you are bringing to your people today. I thank you that you are revealing yourself in such a rapid way and in such a precise way right now in this hour. Father God, those who have ears to hear and eyes to see, I pray that you open them up to a greater understanding. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for using me as your vessel. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for giving me continuously, continuous downloads and bringing wisdom to me so I can then bring that to your people. And I thank you, Father God, for the care that you are taking in, in, in putting into us and instilling into us everything that we are going to need in preparation for whatever it is to come. Father God, let your will be done. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so this word, yeah. So this word, I'm bringing you context and I'm bringing you scripture. It's not necessarily a huge word, but it probably will be a little bit of dialing in for you to kind of understand where this one is going. But without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into it. All right, so. How do I know that God is increasing me? How do we know if God is increasing us? What does it mean by increasing us? It means how do you know that God is taking you higher? How do you know that he is elevating you? How do you know that he is about to use you for something greater than you've been used for in the past or than you can even probably imagine at this moment in time? This is how we know. So you'll know from how you are being led, right? Remember, God can drop a blessing from heaven, and he does do this at times, right? What does it mean by dropping a blessing from heaven? 
God can drop manna from heaven. If you know anything about the, the Israelites, when they were walking through the wilderness and they had to spend 40 days, or I'm sorry, 40 years in the wilderness because they were disobedient, God was raining manna from heaven, which was bread. He was feeding them in a miraculous way. <laughs> he was feeding them in a miraculous way, right? He was taking care of his people in a miraculous way. They couldn't do it for themselves, so he was doing it for them. He was dropping miracles from heaven. God still can do that and he still will do that today. But since we are in different times and we do have means to get it for ourselves, nine times out of 10, he will lead you to wisdom and lead you to blessings. And you're going to have to put your hands to some to the plow, right? You're going to have to work and then he'll bless what it is that you're working with or what, he, what you're working for. It's still going to be miraculous. It's just not going to be falling from heaven a lot of the times. So we're going to jump right into the scripture. The scripture that we got today is Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 through 6. And I'm going to be reading this out of the King James Version. So that reads, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto your own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. So, remember this. If God is going to give you a big blessing, he is going to give you the means of sustaining that blessing. The means that he's going to give you for sustaining the big blessing is going to be wisdom. Understand that. And that's huge. We're going to give you some more clarity on that. So if God pours out a blessing such as let's go with wife, say God gives you a wife in the Bible, it says that he who finds a wife finds a good thing and receives favor from the Lord, right? Nine times out of ten, if God is giving you a wife, he has favored you, and he is going to use your guys' union for his purpose, for his assignment. Yes, it's a blessing for you, so he's going to allow you to enjoy your wife. He's going to allow you to have a beautiful marriage, covenant, etc. But it's always bigger than what you can see with the naked eye. So what God is going to do before he gives you a big blessing it is going to bless you with wisdom so you can sustain that blessing. This is also how you know if God is giving you the blessing or if you're jumping the gun and you're getting the blessing on your own or you're seeking out blessings on your own or if Satan is giving you a blessing. Because if you get a wife before you're ready for a wife, whether that's a good person or a bad person, the situation can destroy you. It could destroy her. It could delay things. It can put you on a path to where you're not operating correctly. It could be out of order, et cetera, et cetera, because you don't have the proper wisdom and proper guidance from the Lord to sustain that blessing. Now, just apply that situation to absolutely anything, right? A certain amount of money, a certain amount of status, anything. doesn't matter what it is. If you don't have the wisdom to sustain a blessing, nine times out of 10, God is not the one sending the blessing to you. You're probably seeking it yourself. You're probably getting it from Satan and it's going to eventually tear you apart or you're going to tear it apart, et cetera, et cetera. So wait on God's wisdom so he can guide you into the proper way of sustaining said blessing. So the next scripture we're going to go into is Proverbs chapter three, verses 13 through 15. And once again, this is going to be King James Version. So for the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver and the gain thereof than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies, and all things thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. So that's huge. What we just what we just read about right now in scriptures, and please go back and read the scripture for your own so you can catch this better in spirit. God will give you a lot more revelation when you're reading it for yourself than if I'm reading it for you. But what we were just reading about was wisdom. The woman that is more precious than rubies and gold and silver and all of that stuff. So more wisdom is going to be your greatest blessing that you can ever have. And I was just explained perfectly in scripture. It's better than money. It's better than status. It's better than anything because wisdom is what's going to lead you to everything. It's what's going to sustain everything. So wisdom in it itself is the biggest blessing, the biggest gift you're going to get. So instead of seeking fame, instead of seeking money, instead of seeking anything, you should first be seeking knowledge, wisdom, and things of that nature. Understand that. So 
God is saying, this is because wisdom is what keeps the blessing. If he sends you a million dollars and you have no wisdom, you'll squander the blessing on unnecessary things and you'll end up worse than you were before you got the money. But if he leads you to a million dollars through knowledge and wisdom, that million will become a billion dollars. And then you'll have you'll leave money for generations and generations and generations to come. You'll build generational wealth, right? God is faithful. He is a faithful father. He is not a genie. Genies destroy. God nurtures until life happens inside the believer. And then he blossoms them for the outside world to see. So what is God trying to say here? We sometimes want our father in heaven to be a genie, right? And when he doesn't come through the way that we want him to come through, we get angry. We start to go our own way. Some people start to seek other gods, idolize or other idols, and they stray away from God's goodness because God isn't moving the way that they want him to move. But based on what God is giving us in this direction video, God is saying, my ways are not your ways, son, daughter. My ways are higher than your ways. And the, way, the reason why I don't give you what you think you want or what you think you need at the time you think you want it or need it is because I am protecting you. If I give you what you think you want right now, it is going to break you. It is going to destroy you or... It is going to use you to destroy other people. Understand that. People get big amounts of money before they're ready for big amounts of money. They start to squander it on things that don't matter. And then years down the line, now they're stuck when if they would have waited on God's direction, if they would have waited on God's wisdom, they would have prospered with whatever they had. And then that 1 million would have turned into 2 million. Then that 2 million to 3 million and then a billion and then generational wealth and then so on and so forth. And then they would have passed down the knowledge to their kids and then their kids would have taken, taken the knowledge and then they would have created more wealth. So this is what God is saying in this video. Um, that was actually the end of the context and the scripture. God is just saying, wait on him. The way that you're going to know that he is elevating you is because he's going to start leading you to a bunch of wisdom and a bunch of knowledge. That's how God works. He's not just going to drop you matter from heaven unless you absolutely need it. He knows what you need. He knows that if you can't take care of yourself and you're seeking him above everything else, then yeah, he may drop you a blessing. But nine times out of 10, if he's about to rise you up in elevation, that is how you're going to know is he's going to start leading you to a bunch of wisdom and a bunch of different avenues. All right, so I pray that I bless you. Mighty name of Jesus.